Hey, welcome to Wild Slow Living. Today I want to talk about the journey. And I think it's super important to acknowledge that it is a journey. I know now that I really, I mean, I've always known that nature is, is vital to my well being, but also I really value questioning. Questioning things that I have had as foundations in my life and asking myself, okay, why are those a piece of you? Is it truly you? Or is that just something that as you were growing up was presented to you and you accepted as truth? So that could be a piece of your personality. It could be the direction that you want to choose to go with your life. But I think that it's so important to really, like I said, peel back those layers and truly analyze if it feels true to you, if it rings true to you. And I want to say that basically from college onward, it was just an ever evolving peeling, <laughs> peeling process. And I feel like I'm finally getting to that core, like if you think of life as like this artichoke and you know, you're trying new things, you're testing new things, um, trying new hobbies, testing out careers, friendships, relationships, and each time you're kind of peeling away at those little petals and sometimes they do align with your your being and that can be you know added to your arsenal and your understanding of what direction you want to take next and sometimes they don't and you can simply discard that piece and say okay you know I tried that out and that wasn't for me and <clears throat> or this piece of myself that I thought was what I wanted for my life or I thought was who I was really isn't me and the only person who can really do this is yourself. So constantly asking yourself the questions of, okay, does this feel right? Does this align with, with my soul? Do I feel joy when doing this activity? Do I feel fulfilled? And those are kind of the guiding beacon for the decisions that you're making. And after you begin peeling away and once you're kind of, you've peeled away for a really long time you're left with that artichoke heart and that piece that you know is kind of is the core of you and when you find the core of you it's it's kind of a really beautiful feeling you i just feel at this moment in my life like the purest expression of myself of uh, the purest expression of Laura and I honestly never thought that I would get to that place in my life. I'm holding back, oh, tears. And I thought I would forever be searching and I thought I would forever feel kind of, not necessarily lost, but floating, I suppose, would be a better word choice. And I didn't want to float through life trying to figure out, or just not even trying to figure out, but feeling like I was a husk of myself. Like I had this exterior that I was showing to people, but I would never let it get beyond the, I wouldn't say the wall that I had put up basically. And it wasn't necessarily even intentional, but I think I had experiences early on in my life that really caused me to build that, that wall and to not truly show myself. I had a hard time connecting with other people. And I think that was because I wasn't connected to myself. And as you're going through life and going through that process of peeling back the layers of yourself, 
it's it's hard to make those true authentic friendships when you don't really even know who you are and I am just so grateful that I am now at a place where I feel like my core is who I am. There's no longer, of course there are going to be like little pieces of myself that still are going to be removed or changed, but I am me and I'm also at a place now that I can present myself to people and if they love it, great, but if they don't, that's okay too. And I just want to encourage whoever is listening to this that if you take the time and the effort to truly be introspective, I think that really opens the doors to living a fulfilling life. And when you're willing to do the work of being introspective and taking the time to ask the tough questions and to face maybe it's a defense mechanism that you have developed over the years and say okay you know this isn't really serving me this is actually pretty unhealthy and toxic how can I work towards removing that aspect of my life or at least being aware of it awareness is key that's how you grow so being aware of the things that you are naturally inclined to do without even thinking about it. But once you allow this light to kind of turn on within yourself, you begin see seeing those patterns so much more easily and you become so much more aware of them. And in that awareness, it's you're able to kind of be like this third party perspective and enter that almost in the beginning it's difficult to be non-judgmental of yourself but eventually you can kind of become that non-judgmental version of yourself and say hey okay why am I behaving the way that I'm behaving what aspects of myself am I holding on to things that those defense mechanisms are really holding you back and limiting you and your potential. But once you acknowledge them, it is so much easier to begin changing. And I have recognized a lot of things within myself that really held me back for a very long time. And it wasn't until I was truly willing to address those things that I began growing and ultimately becoming this person that I am now that I just want to continue to refine and I'm excited for that because I feel so wonderful right now in knowing that this wonderfulness is just going to continue to flourish and expand that just brings joy and excitement to me and allowing myself to enjoy that journey so just a reminder that life is a journey and you don't have to have it all figured out. But if you begin listening to the inner monologue in your mind and pay attention to your defense mechanisms and how you respond to situations and the triggers that you have, as you begin peeling those away and kind of analyzing and understanding them a little bit more and bringing that awareness to yourself when you are beginning to react in a certain way without a true understanding of why you're reacting in that way. Once you begin breaking all these things down, you can really begin to peel away the pieces of you that aren't truly you and get to that core. So I'm excited for you to take that journey just like I'm excited for me to continue my journey. And I'm sure in 30 more years, if I'm st still around, fingers crossed, that I will, you know, just even, it'll be like a diamond at that point, it feels like a beautiful, a beautiful diamond that is the Laura that I am. So I hope that you are able to take this journey as well and truly begin 
uh, presenting the world you because you are the only you that will ever be and I think that we all bring our own unique insight, gifts, talents into this world and it would be a shame for us not to be able to enjoy it.